Go! Okay, today we are here in Gießen in the MOOC and uh, we are very happy to have the restarts here and I think uh, over 20 years of punk rock? 20 years, yes, 22 to be exact. 22 years yeah. of punk rock, so we are very happy to have you here. Um, the last years of punk rock, now you're here. What, what do you think is the most change in the fucking business? In Germany or worldwide? Wherever, or wherever, wherever, wherever you're at. We are in Dresden, the UK, except me. Well, <laughs> I think there's a higher profile now because punk rock has been... It had the initial explosion, then it kind of died out, then there was a second wave, and then towards the end of the 80s, punk really hit bottom. And then that's kind of when we formed in the early to mid 90s. There was a small group of people that still liked punk, even though it was dead in the world. So we, that's the birth of the restarts came out of that. But I think now it's really, it's strong and positive. There's new young people up there that are like 18 and full of energy. And, and then there's myself, like an older 50. We have, you know, 40 year olds, 30 year olds, and it's kind of strong in every, every part of it, all the generations, and I think that makes us a united network spanning three or four generations. I think also since it became less popular, like it went underground, so later on when it became more popular, like you got the mainstream punk, like, yeah, yeah. bands that uh, kind of made it. Whatever you call it, Green Day, or yeah, Spring, but like the, whatever, uh, like most of it is far away from the punk spirit. Yeah, most, no, of, most, of, most of the mainstream punk, yeah. yeah. from, from a musical perspective. Yeah, it's, it's too small. But there seems to be a bigger divide between the, the mainstream and the underground stuff. And the underground stuff is going really strong, I think, but the mainstream media stuff don't know about it. Which, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a, in a way it's a good thing, but at the same time, if you want to get your message out there, like, it would be good to get more people to at least hear it. But, but I think that what we see in the last years, that young people become political again. Yeah. But we missed the last 20 years, I think. So we need that, uh, I think. when you start in in uh, the UK 20 years ago, what do you think was your spirit to do it, to make music like this? We're, because we just had no direction, no goal. We were, like stepped out of society, fuck society. Um, so it was just really reckless abandon. And we just really, really pissed about the system of our society. I think the lyrics are so really pissed about the system of our society. We just did, didn't want to be part of it. I didn't want to. Advanced. Yeah, I didn't want to be part of the system. I didn't want to vote. I didn't want to engage. I didn't want to be. I'm not from England. I didn't want to be English. Fucking, there was just so much shit going on. We were just squatting, and it was like this whole subculture. And we just created our own scene, playing squat gigs, making our own music, not knowing how to play, and just singing about what was relevant in the day. Well, you can see, the first years. time I saw you, it was roughly oh, 18 years ago. It yeah. was in, in, in Gießen, Squat House, uh, Sudanlag. Uh, uh, and, and since then, you have several gigs in Gießen. You have a very really Was that an outdoor gig? Uh, maybe it was a summer feast, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, and then you played several times, I don't know how often it's, but you played in Giza. You have a close connection also to the past party. Yeah, yeah. And we had, a, I mean, a strong connection with Giza from those that back in the States. Those early years, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you, you just keep returning to that familiar family. and. And Pest Park have been going about the same amount of time as us. Yeah. We did the 10 year anniversary 10 years ago. Yeah. Yes, I so remember. remember. I remember. And yeah. the 20th. Yeah. yeah. And the 15th. The 30th. No, no, on the 15th. Did you play on the 15th? Uh, yes, anniversary festival. Maybe. I can't I remember. Let's try because we played yeah. Yeah. so many times. We just only think to my get old and fresh. Yeah, we're, 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 yeah, we're getting too old. <laughs> Where you originally come from? Because you say you're not from UK. Canadian. Canada, yeah. Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver is a nice town. But, uh, it's good. <laughs> I was raised on DOA, Dangle abortions. Nobody's know. That's yeah. my induction into the punk scene. And then 
ended up in the UK and met Robin, he speaks Dutch, Jeremy is French. That's cool. So you're international too, that's the best. We are yeah. multinational. Yeah. Yeah. And you're also uh, one of these kind of punk bands uh, which are very political, but not only in, in spreading the words on stage, you're acting also very political. I heard about uh, your, your action in, in, in the French refugee centers and, and, and what else you do. Yeah. Maybe you can just well, this, spend some the, words on actions were largely Robin did the, was in the micro camps in Calais. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, it was just when um, Alan Curley died, the, the, the kid that washed up on the beach, like that kind of was a turning point, I think, in the media attention and in the public perception of what was happening, like yeah. refugee wise, especially in, in Calais. Um, and then a lot of people I met over there as well, that was, that was the kind of turning point when I said, I want to get involved, I want to do something. And one, it's kind of addictive, like as soon as you go there and you do something and you see what the situation is like and you see what these people are like, it's like you just want to go back. You kind of forget about I see what's going on in London or your, your, your usual life. It's like really easy relatively to what these people are going through and nothing else seems important anymore. Like I ended up going there for a year, like um, in batch, like, you know, 13 times in one year. Like, Until the end. Yeah, it's, a it's when you put a, a, a human face to that that fucking travesty and, and a human connection. We we would, you know. So Robin was always stationed there, working, doing volunteering, and then and so if we had a gig, we we got many gigs in France and Belgium, and uh, so we would bring supplies that people had donated and stop in Calais and meet meet the people, meet the families living in little shacks, yeah. and and they. They bring you into their little shack and it's so clean and they make you they bring a cup of water and some Kurdish tea and, and it's like these people have nothing and they're, they're making me a cup of tea. You're, you're, like, you're, you're well fucking engaged in all these issues. Oh, what do you think about all this uh, what uh, uh, in, in Europe turns up to the rights are getting more nationalism uh, 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 and still talking about oh, we must close the forests to Europe against all those immigrants, all those refugees. Well, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's a story. Uh, how you see things turn bad? I think there's. I think it goes in cycles with humanity, and you know, I think we're far enough away from the Second World War that people are starting to forget what the end point is of that, where that demonization, that mass kind of... But also the, 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 the drive behind politicians to, to demonize people is because they're only in power for four or five years, so they never think of a long-term solution. They think of something to do now, which is never, like, a war, a war is never going to be a long, it's not even a solution, not even a short-term solution, but it's something that might win them votes. And then they'll cross the next bridge when they get there, but it won't be a bridge, it'll be another fucking wall. Like it's yeah, and, and, it's, and, and, it's, and, and it's never like in the long run. And, 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 and you never get the same problem you can't get ahead. It's and so, 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 so all the people cry for the simple solutions. Which yeah, is to blame on someone else. Yeah, sure. Yeah. As yeah. yeah. always. I think you have to see longer ways, yeah. not only to short ways. So, but it's a common it's, problem. Uh, always, always the same. I see, I see the, the refugee camp in Calais three years ago when I go to uh, Hastings. Yeah. Yeah, I think you played tomorrow. Hastings. We are playing yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Hastings. Yeah. Nice time, nice time. I like it. And uh, I see Tia yeah, Lewis. flying over for that one. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I said, I said that's like one of the best festivals that I've played nice yeah. before. Hastings, I like it. I like it. I like it. Well, but what are you saying? You stopped in Calais? Yeah, we stopped in Calais um, because um, we had to go over with the, with the bus. So we had to stop because they sent the people refugees to the yeah. UK. So we had to stop and then uh, we are sitting on the outside place and then we have the camps beside. And we talk to the people of the camps beside. Yeah. And when you see how they live there, you, you cannot believe that we are in Europe. You have a camp there. Yeah. It's like on the on the on the Turkish border or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I know, and there's a lot of people going like, yeah, but look, they have trainers and, and phones, but 
they kind of think that refugees were homeless in their own country for no, they were like any like that some of them were middle class. A lot of them were doctors and fucking. Yeah. Yeah. And they just yeah. 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 But it's totally they, us, underestimated. It's almost like they don't they, don't, they, they, they always they, they always believe that refugees who come are poor, undereducated or whatever. They don't they don't realize that there is all kind of people yeah. from low education to to to, to high flyers. And I think the problem is people yeah. make divisions between it's it's us and it's them. They don't see it as we're all one kind of, we're all one people. I know it sounds like a hippie kind of statement to make, but as soon as you like forget about them, oh that person is from a different country, like you just see it as another person, right? And a bomb doesn't discriminate whether you earn, you know, fifty thousand euros a year or ten thousand. Yeah. A yeah. bomb, if it hits your house, you it matters well. your neighborhood. Yeah. So you're poor, rich, it doesn't matter. No, but poor people they cannot even afford the travel. So like, okay. they'll, they'll have to get a sure. horse just to pay for the bomb. Yeah, but to go money from who? But I think we can talk about politics a long, long time. But we had to have this fucking interview. <laughs> so we are very happy that you that you give this statement because we are seeing the same problems from this side nice. of the channel to the other side of the channel. And I hope we make the world a little bit better when we make festivals like that and talk yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's yeah. commonality and it's, yeah. it's global and it's lovely right. to connect with people in Germany and America, Australia, So, and I think the, the moral of the story is if, if you have a fear for a certain group of people, like, first thing to do, try, try and meet some of those people, try and speak with them. And then, yeah. before yeah. having any opinion about somebody who might be from a different country or from a different religion, like, speak with people personally. And then you have to, to speak Yeah, then you understand them. Exactly. Like, that what yeah. we say to you, and we say it all. Think, talk, yeah. and drink. And that's the best one. Thank you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.